Hey, it's Professor Josh. Welcome back for another video. Today we have in store the comic cover with the NFTs. What? And also LE500 Funko piece that just came out and just got delivered recently. And a $50 Pop King Paul mystery box. So stick around. All right, so first off, I have the pop album, pop comic cover kind of thing going on. So the pop albums were the first thing to come out. Then the comic covers came out in the cases. And now they have a comic cover that also came with an NFT. So redeemable NFT from Walmart. So this one is the DC one. So I can't wait to open it. It's the Bold and the Brave issue number 28. Um, and the cool thing about this comic cover is, of course, comes with the NFT redeemable about it. But I love the look of this comic cover from what I've seen. I haven't seen it in person yet, but I love what I saw online for it um, at $39.98. It's kind of a little more expensive uh, comic book cover set. Um, it is from Walmart, Walmart exclusive only. So let's crack this open. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. So... All right, so we're gonna open this up, see what it looks like, see how it came. It just came in a box like this. I only ordered one for right now. I might go back and get another one if they're really cool because maybe they'll be worth more down the road with the NFT. NFTs are signed at random too, so I don't know what NFT I'll have. Um, so I'll have to find out uh, and do it, but oh, this thing's looking good. So I'm just seeing the back of it. And the back of it looks pretty cool. So the back of it looks cool. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing this front and then we'll have to figure out how to claim the NFT on it um, as well too. So I don't know if there's a card inside, something on the bottom, something on the back. I don't know where it's at, but somewhere it's gonna be. So check this thing out. This thing's awesome. Cause this is the first one they've done little mini pops. And that's the cool thing with this one. If you look inside there, they're all the little mini pops and they have, of course, Starro the Conqueror. So if you remember him from the last Suicide Squad's movie, Starro, um, that was him. Now he's with, uh, let's see, Green Lanterns in there, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and we look like uh, Martian Manhunters in there as well. And they're all kind of fighting him and going at it. So this is a really cool cover. So this is the original cover, of course, on the back of it. But the pops look really cool. So the question will be now, we'll have to see if we can get out the NFT or figure out how the NFT thing works on this one. So I'm gonna see if I can open this up carefully here and see if it's maybe somewhere inside this, maybe somewhere else, I don't know. So, I don't know, I don't see it. Like how do you claim the NFT on it? So it's supposed to come with the NFT as well for it, but I don't see anything on here. I'll have to check and look. In the box, is there any kind of receipt? I don't see anything about it. So I'm curious now, how do you claim the NFT for this? That'll be interesting to see how you download it and get it at random. Hmm. Funko, let me know. If anyone knows, let me know. Because right now, I don't see anything. And I mean, I don't have it unwrapped, but I don't see anything with the case itself um, that says that. So we'll have to check that out. I kind of like it outside of it as well too. So I think these are really cool looking. They do have the little hooks in the back, of course. So if you want to hang this up, but I really like the look of this. Um, you know, the stickers on here, which I wish the sticker was kind of on the plastic or on the side or something else. I know they kind of want to show it with the box as well too, but it's a really cool piece. Definitely a neat one to add. So now I have to figure out how do I get the NFT? So I'll show you what the NFT looks like. It was a pretty cool one, but how do you get it? Now it's assigned at random. So I wanna know. Let me know if you know in the comments. Maybe I'll figure it out by the time we like uh, publish this video, who knows. So this was a cool one. Definitely one I wanted to check out and get um, and see in person, so. All right, so after digging around a little bit, finally figured out how to claim my NFT for this comic book cover. So you had to go back to the Walmart website, gave some more information about it, and also let you know they would email you something. Email you something about claiming code. Now, I warn you, if you do buy this on the Walmart website and order it, they send you the code you cannot return. 
this uh, actual comic book cover. So make sure you want this if you're going to order it. Um, went ahead and ordered it, got my comic book cover in, and then went ahead and got the code, the long code. I already have a drop account, but if you don't, you have to create a drop account. And then you click on the website that it takes you to, and you put in the code and boop you get either a common or rare i don't know if there's anything rare to that those are the only two i saw that are out there the commons kind of a little more static which i unluckily pulled but the rare is a little more animated and things like that i don't know if there's a one-on-one -on -one or anything cooler out there for it but there was like 20 something thousand commons i don't know how many rares pretty cool finally figured it out figured i'd let you know uh definitely want to check it out so if you do order it you do get that code you can claim it if you don't want to claim it i'm sure you could sell it maybe on atomic hub or give it to someone else that maybe has a drop account that likes the nfts and wants to claim it as well too because it's not tied to your actual figure in any way there's no like code thing that's on there that's tied to the figure it's just the email code that's sent to you so figure out let you know how to do it because i finally figured it out and had to go back and read my email um and figure it out i thought it would be on the actual like uh the co cover have it mm, it's cool glad to grab it so all right so now i need to open up the le 500 piece so that's what this is at least rumored i don't know if it's numbered on so this is the exclusive exclusive album slash Funko Pop combo. So this is from DJ Khalid and he had put on up they had put up a, a special Funko album slash slash Funko Pop. So this is really cool looking. So this one is We The Best DJ Khalid it looks like his album here is sealed and the vinyl figure is included with the, the God Did album included. So God Did right there. So that's pretty cool that it's included with this inside of here. Now, do I want to open it? I don't know. I, I'm wondering if it's LE like 500. I want to see something on it. I want to know, but you know what? Let's go check it out. So I want to see what it looks like inside, how it's kind of put in there. If the Funko Pop's any different than his regular Funko Pop that is out there too as well, or if it's kind of the normal Funko Pop that is out there. So he'll be curious, but I do like how they did the pop form on the outside there. And it does look like it just folds up here. So let's see, check it out. Oh, oh yeah. It does. It has a certificate here. LE500. Look at that. LE500. And then it's in here. And then the album's in the bottom, it looks like. And the Funko is right here. So the curious thing is, the Funko, I don't know if it's any different. Is the Funko any different than what has already been out there? So the Funko is in a nice little sorter. It is the Funko Shop exclusive one. I don't think it's any different than the regular Funko Pop. I think it's the whole combo of the album that that is 500, which is cool in itself. You know, a limited kind of piece. It would be neat if it was on the outside, but it's nice that it does have a certificate. First edition Funko box set. So I think this is the first box set of any kind of musician like this that's in there. And then his album's right on the bottom there. So, yep albums right on the bottom inside the box so that's pretty cool i do like that how they did it and how they put it together i think they did a good job of putting the box together first piece i don't know if you're a big fan this is probably definitely one that you would want in your collection and i do like how they did kind of like that that is the limited edition 500 that's pretty low for a funko anything even if it's a funko pop that you can find but you won't be able to find this box the box itself is really cool so glad to check it out glad to open it now you know what it kind of looks inside so if you got one if you decide to just put it away for now you can put it away if you already have his album or music or of course you know everyone's not listening to cds they probably have a digital download and stuff like that of it so that's really cool to have in your collection especially if you're a big dj khaled fan all right now we have a mystery box we got the fifty dollar pop king paul mystery box this one uh was a little while back i don't think too long ago I'm trying to see if i had a date on here i didn't mark the date on here about i think it was about a month 
maybe a month, maybe two months ago, maybe a little over a month ago. Um, it feels like four pops, four pops, fifty dollars. Not bad. We'll see what we get. See if we get some of our money out of it, money back out of it. I think we have a good chance of it. I think this was just like a random like midday kind of drop that Pop King Paul did. If you haven't checked out Pop King's Paul boxes, check out his Instagram. He usually announces when he's selling it. He usually gives you like a 30 minute warning to, or like, hey, this is coming up. And sometimes a lot more warning in advance. Um, and usually there's prices on here. So we'll kind of get a price from here, but we can also look them up as well on Hobby DB to see if they fluctuated. Like I said, it's a month ago or so. So I'm gonna see, are they all? I think they're all in protectors. So everything's in a protector here. So I'm just gonna grab something out of here. All right, so first pop out of the $50 Pop King Paul mystery box is, oh, it looks like one of the Golden Girls. We got Sophia. I remember watching this with my grandmother growing up. She loved the Golden Girls. Um, Sophia is one of the Golden Girls here. Um, it does say it's $16. Maybe we can check it out and see if it's still $16. I'm always curious if they're still going about the same. So, hmm. All right, all right. Sophia is still coming at $16. So $16 is not too bad of a start. All right, so another pop here in a protector. See if I can get it the right way. All right. Boom. Oh, okay, it's Queen. Is it John Deacon from Queen? Uh, pretty cool pop. It does say $18 on here. I do not have this one. I don't know if I would keep it. Maybe. I mean, I like Queen, but I don't know if I want to collect all the Rocks line. I have some of the Rocks line. I like the sodas and things like that. I, like the, I love the Freddie Mercury soda and things. So, but John Deacon's coming at 18 still. So, price is still holding there. These haven't changed. And they're a little older. They're not like brand, brand new pops or anything like that. 2018, I think Sophia's probably about the same. Maybe 2018, 20, 2020. Sophia's a little newer. But 2018, pretty cool. Alright. Got two more pops left. Let's see what we get out of this one. It is, oh, Albert Einstein. So Albert Einstein, I do, we do have this one. It's a really cool icon. This is world history icon. So this is a pretty cool set. I love this Albert Einstein. Definitely a neat one. I'm glad they're doing some of the pops like this as well too. Albert Einstein's, ooh, he actually went up in value. So it says 20 on here. He's actually coming in at, $28. $28. That's pretty awesome. So that means even a little more. So got 28 on that one. And then we'll add up our values at the end. But we're, we're, we're over our uh, right about, if not over the amount. So let's see what we get this last one. Ooh. So this is Craven the Hunter. I believe he he was, yeah, Walgreens exclusive. I remember when he came out of the Walgreens, then he went on clearance at Walgreens, and then he was hard to find. And then, of course, if you get a Walgreens pop in decent condition, it's always crazy. But I think because also some of the Spider-Man movies, uh, Craven was, you know, out there. $24. Hmm. What do we think? $24. Do we think we have... Uh, he's in between. He has two different prices depending on the sticker. So let's see. So actually, Craven the Hunter, the Walgreens sticker went up to $34. So I definitely know we went way over our value of uh, only $50 for this box. So let's see. 34 now. And then we have 28 And then the two others were coming in. What? 18 and what is that, 16? 90, we almost doubled our money with this box, especially with the value of these pops going up. Um, this is the only Craven and the Hunter, I believe, that's out there. And it's only Einstein as well, too. So that's pretty cool. $96 for all these pops. So $96 for all these four pops. I only paid $50 for the box. Plus, I think shipping was added, or maybe it was included, but I think it was like a set price for shipping onto it. So pretty cool that to get this. Pretty gr glad I could get this uh, box here, this box set, um, limited to 500. So that's pretty awesome. And then now we need to figure out 
how to get our claim our NFT. I don't see anything on it. I thought something would come inside it, especially you know with it sealed. Maybe even you had to open it up, but I don't see anything on here on a way to claim it. I don't see anything even on the packaging that talks about the NFT, which is interesting. So maybe they sent me something in the email. Maybe I need to check out, see what Walmart sent me. Maybe it's something hidden in the email. I don't know. But I'll let you know maybe in the comments below. But you can let me know too if you figured it out. If not, I'm reaching out to Funko and Walmart and figuring out this. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you liked out of this video. What was your favorite item that I grabbed um, or got from that mystery box? And you know what you need to do? You need to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And comment below, like I said, what your favorite is. Um, I always appreciate all the great comments that are out there. And hopefully I'll see you on Pop Force 1 tonight. Yes, Pop Force 1 tonight on Slapshot Pops at... 9 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you there. I'm sure we're going to recap New York Comic Con, talk about some of the other things that are going on and happening, and hope to see you there. So, see you next time, everyone. Bye. Hey, it's Professor Josh. Welcome back for another video. Today, I have some great stuff in store, including the new NFT Pop Comet cover album and don't forget we got mystery boxes hey it's professor josh welcome back for another video today we have in store pop cover uh... hey it's 